Norm from Tested. You know, Tested, we deal well with technology. We're a really big fan of people who make things, makers. And that's why I'm super excited to have here with me Harrison Cricks from Vulpin Props. You are Vulpin Props. I am. <laughs> what do you do? I, um, I make... Cool stuff. I uh, cool stuff. I make cool stuff. Like that that this. should that should be the the explanation I give to everybody. Um, uh, a couple months ago, uh, I quit my job and uh, I, I do things like this full time now. You uh, made this. You made these. I made all, all these. these. Yes, from uh, scratch. From scratch. Uh, mostly, How the hell did you do that? Mostly start with uh, you know Google. Google's everything. Google is how you learn. You know? Okay. Uh, there's so, a bunch of fan communities, forums. Yeah. Just research and research, man. These are guns from Mass Effect. If you didn't realize, yes, the M7 rifle. Yeah, M8 rifle. So this is this looks exactly like the gun in the game. Commander yes. Shepard has that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that's the that's the goal. Let, we can get a close-up shot of this. It's well, so if we're gonna, cool. We're gonna Wait. make it cooler. Now it's cooler. It lights up! Oh my god! Um, so how did you make this? How did you start? Uh, well, that one is actually mostly wood. Okay. Uh, you know, I start off with cheap materials like MDF uh, at low budget. That one was kind of a personal challenge to myself to see if I could make something with scraps from around my shop. So this was all made uh, with uh, parts I had laying around, pieces of wood, pieces of styrene, pieces of PVC. Did you start PVC. gluing wood together? I mean, did you well, no, no, no. I, mean, I, just, yeah. I just take a whole bunch of glue and wood, and then that happens. Yeah. That's no. Um, I, make, uh, I make all my designs in, in Adobe Illustrator, just 2D flats, uh, transfer those onto larger panel pieces like this, and then spend about a week with a sander and a Dremel and uh, files, wow. and then I come out of the shop covered in dust with one of these. That's wow. the long and short of it. I, I detail all my builds, um, mm -hmm. so if anybody's interested in actually seeing very lengthy descriptions yeah. of how this comes to be. It's on your blog. You can go to my blog, and yeah. uh, I do a step-by-step -step of everything. I photograph everything. I have a lot of documentation. So, so you specialize right now in video game Video games, props. Uh, video game props. People this like is like the newest one you did? Right, this is uh, from Mass Effect 3. The, it's not uh, even out yet. The game's not even not out even yet. Out how yet, did no. you get the game model for this? Uh, the guys from Bioware actually uh, uh, sent me an email, and they said, um, we'd like you to make uh, one of the guns from our DLCs, uh, the N7 rifle, which is part of the N7 pack. And uh, they sent me all of the, uh, the game art, the files, and they said, you know, go nuts on it. We'd like two of them. This one is actually a personal piece. I made it for myself. Uh, mm -hmm. You can tell because it's red. They don't have a red one in the game, but I love mm -hmm. red. So, right. uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, I've had some great responses from uh, from the community and from the people who make the games, which is great. You got, you got to take a look at the weathering. It looks like it's metal. Like, yeah. the way you've painted it looks like it's it's well, thank used you. and it has a good heft to it. So this one's wood. This one's resin. This one's plastic. Or the plastic. Mm -hmm. And then what is this? this, this is, well, this is actually, and if anybody kind of wants to get into uh, prop making. This is a fantastic first project. This is the uh, the Atom syringe from Bioshock, uh, modeled after the one that was in the first game. Um, this one is actually a, a vintage gasoline pump handle. So most of the work kind of done for me. Then uh, PVC wood for the long barrel, mason jar for the uh, the Atom chamber, and uh, it's you know this one took me about a week to do. So something like this uh, is is actually a great project for somebody who kind of just wants to get into things mm -hmm. and has never really done anything before. How, how did you learn to do this? I mean, you... self-taught really. Um, okay. I, I spent some time in school uh, as a furniture design major. Um, I, uh, furniture to furniture, guns? From furniture to guns, you know, it's a lot more interesting way to, to, to mess around and play mm -hmm. with, with wood and stuff. And, uh, you and know, practice over time. Practice over time. What was the first thing you made? I made a terrible copy of Link's uh, shield from Legend okay. of Zelda from Twilight Princess. Right. And I made my wife a, uh, a Midna helmet, right? Oh, okay. And uh, those two went out. We went to Halloween. We had some fun. Some people were like, hey, you should go to a con. We did. It was great. And then uh, we went, oh, well, let's see if we can do some more stuff. Then Portal came out. Yeah. Then I made the Portal gun. And then I'm sure everybody, you've seen that. Everyone, yeah, that's, everybody that's was all like, over hey, the internet. I think let's make some more Portal guns. I a picture guns. of that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second one in that photo, the, the well, the one before, uh, the orange one is uh, actually installed at uh, Valve's offices right now. So uh, it's you know I've had some. They called me up. They're like, we want one, and uh, we will pay you for it, which is uh -huh. even better. So uh, it was too. yeah. I did the the Glados potato as well. Uh, she speaks, so there's buttons inside there, and she'll she'll talk to you. Um, you know, it's 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 so much fun doing this That's stuff. Amazing. And now that I can call it my actual yeah. job, it's so much better. Full time. And, yeah. so, and you said like uh, game companies have come to you, like Valve. And Yep. Bioware, and yep. they're totally okay with you you making this stuff. I've uh, I have never had a negative response from an intellectual property rights holder. Okay. So I, I make the stuff, I put it out there, and mm -hmm. uh, people, you know, I've gotten emails from people, and they're like, "We saw what you did, we love it." You know, nine times out of ten, they just want one for their offices. Yeah. Uh, the the guys at uh, Bethesda, same thing. They wanted a, a, a laser rifle. Right. You did and the so Fallout Three. The Fallout laser, Three laser, laser rifle, rifle. and that's that's installed at their too. office. 
Oh. So what's your next project? I mean, what other games, Ooh. guns do you want to uh, make? You know, I've got, I uh, I just came back from Dragon Con. Okay. And uh, I saw a whole big, bunch of people. Big, Dragon, big, big yeah, Dragon Con's fantastic. In Atlanta, if you've never been, mm -hmm. you should go. Um, and there were a bunch of people in Garrus costumes oh. from Mass Effect. And that, you know, his armor and the yeah. face sculpts, I really want to do that. So you've done you've done a, a Mass Effect armor yourself. Yes, I did Commander Shepard's N7 okay. armor. What are your tips for making armor? I mean, like, how, how is, it, is that metal, is it heavy to wear? Uh, no, I, good artists create great artist steel. Uh, my, okay. my concept for the armor was borrowed from a guy um, uh, named uh, David, and David's last name is escaping me right now, and I'm so sorry, David. Uh, but uh, he came up with this concept of using uh, foam floor mats, mm -hmm. and it's actually the, these floor tiles you put in your garage. Whole thing's made out of that. It's cheap, it's lightweight, it's fantastic. And you just cut it and... Yeah, cut it, glue it. Uh, you know, it takes really well to stuff like uh, hot glue and, yeah. and acrylic paint, cheap materials, and it's really lightweight, fantastic to use. A lot of guys, uh, they'll make stuff out of paper craft, pepakura is mm -hmm. what they call it. Yep. A lot of the Halo guys are into that. Yep. That's another thing to get into if, you, if you're not into sculpting because a lot of it's both basically just folded paper. Yeah. So what's your workshop look like? I'm, are you just doing this <laughs> out of your garage? Do you I am, space? I am not a professional by any stretch okay. of the imagination. I have half a garage okay. um, that I push my car out of whenever I need to work. And uh, I, I've got you know some tables I found free off of Craigslist. And uh, I've got some tools. Most of them are cheap. I've got one really nice bandsaw, but outside of that, it's all Harbor Freight craft. Mostly. I think we have some oh yeah, the video, the video right garage. here. This is a, a vacuum forming machine I built out of an old toaster oven and my parents' telephone table. So uh, yeah, I mean it's about making your own tools. This right here is a, is a leg armor that I made for a friend of mine. Uh, so what are you doing right here? Uh, well, that's uh, it's vacuum formed styrene. So the the box up top is actually an oven. So you slide the plastic up there, it gets hot, and then you push it down and suck all the air out from underneath it. So what you're left with is a hollow piece that you can make armor out of. So that's a really nice. Way Way to make pieces lightweight, fast. Uh, unfortunately, it requires you to make your own vacuum former, but I made that one for you know, about a hundred bucks. It works oh, wow. really well too. It's really you know? like DIY. Yeah, totally DIY. I came up with a, a few concepts of my own about how to do it. I, I, I kind of copied a few other people, but uh, you know, a lot of this stuff like like a vacuum forming machine is things you can make yourself. Yeah. So that's one of my most used tools, and, and I, I absolutely the, love that thing. The resources you use, I mean, is there a good community? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's props? a there's a community out there called the Replica Props Forum. It's the RPF, okay. uh, the RPF dot com. I'm just gonna hold this while you Yeah, talk. go ahead. That's no, it's, right. you feel so much cooler. Oh like, yeah, you know, absolutely. I just want to. If I could, I'd walk around with these, but it's not really advisable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so so yeah, um, community. The RPF is a good one. Uh, there's another one called the 405th, which is centered mostly around Halo props and okay. costuming. And then there's another one called Cosplay.com, and that's kind of good for people who just want to get into the hobby. Yeah. You know, starting points, really, you know, uh, intro level stuff. Uh, the guys at the RPF are the people who do this sort of stuff for a living, industry professionals. They know mm -hmm. the tips and tricks. And that's where I learned a lot of this stuff. Uh, so people like work for Weta? Yep, or, or actually Weta has an account on there and they'll, they'll post from time to time about their upcoming projects. Have you heard from them? Never no. have, no. Oh, okay. No. I, that's, that's, you know, one of like the far off dreams and I'd love yeah. to, but you know, never never heard from that. Never heard from Sam Winston, but again, I'm still kind of just, you know, looks, feeling my way through this. good enough for movies. Oh, thank you. It's actually more detailed than what you'd find in movies. Yeah, that's uh, something I've been told a lot, is because in movies people can kind of cheat, mm -hmm. you know, they, they don't have to get really exacting. And, and on the video you can see me here like filling in super tiny imperfections, never show up in a movie, right? Right. But if you're going to be holding this thing and, and looking at it from, you know, a foot, six inches away, you're going to be able to see a little dent, little ding, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you know, on a weathered rifle like this, I can cheat a fair bit of it, but I still like it to look as good as possible. So this is an original, like the M8. The M8 that's is made an original. Of wood, but once you've made a, a cast for it, you can make them pretty quickly. Like this one took a month for you to make. That one, yeah, that one took about three weeks. This one here is, uh, like I said, all cast resin parts. Yeah. So um, spitting out another copy of one of these takes uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two weeks or you know a week and a half fast, if I'm actually. really cranking on it. So um, it does speed up the process considerably. So I don't have to re-sculpt the whole thing from scratch. How the, many how many can you build with one mold before the mold gets bad? Um, well, actually, I've I've made some molds, and I can show you something else that I've got this kind of fancy okay. down here. Of the uh, I've done some helmets, oh. uh, Daft Punk helmets. This if people is are familiar, the most exciting thing ever. And uh, I brought my Tomas helmet here, Tomas from Daft Punk, and uh, I just need to. Could you put that battery up there? Thank. Just you can rest that on okay. the table, and I'm going to go ahead and turn Thomas on here. If I can get to the switch. So this is uh, my Tomas helmet from Daft Punk. Um, it's got a, an Arduino Ooh, system in it, so it's, uh, it's programmable. You can scroll different things across the LED matrix. Uh, this is all self-taught stuff. Make um, it say tested. Make it say tested.com. <laughs> you gotta pay me for ad <laughs> oh, okay. space, man, right. come on. <laughs> 
Fair Here, enough. Hold on. I, I can I can do some of my own. There we go. Now, oh, now I'm, all right. <laughs> you guys brought me on here. I have Very to self-advertise. Nice. So um, you were so, talking about how many molds I can get. Yeah. Um, I've actually sold a bunch of blank castings of my Daft Punk helmets. And uh, one of them that I have, I've pulled about 48 castings out of it okay. so far. The mold's still doing very well. Awesome. So uh, something like this, I can get a lot of pulls and out this, of it. And this one's chrome. So this one's chrome. You actually have to take it to a place to get yep. chrome. There's a shop out in Valencia, California called Creations in Chrome that does all my work for me. Wow. Talk yeah. about the electronics in this. because uh, This is, like I said, all sort of self-taught stuff. Now, I, I can't take credit for the coding work. That's actually done by a friend of mine out okay. in England named James Moss. And uh, if you guys want to check him out, uh, jamesmoss.co.uk, fantastic programmer. So uh, what you see there is all the hardware, um, and that was a testing video I had. I designed all the chips myself, all the circuit boards. Uh, I designed the LED matrix. I soldered all the pieces myself, so all the hardware I take care of. Um, this is all based on an Arduino system, and you can see yeah. that running right there. Very and uh, the uh, the chips are uh, Max chips. There's uh, great tutorials on the Arduino website which teach you how to build this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is all you know. I I can't take complete credit for everything because basically I'm, I'm I'm following the tutorials online that other people have come up with, and I'm just applying it to you know a shiny chrome helmet. You can take credit for that. I can take credit for that. Yeah. Yeah. So you've made the other Daft Punk helmet. I made too. the other Daft Punk helmet yeah. too. I that I is. We have um, photos of that. And that was actually the, the, one of the first helmets you made. That was the first helmet I ever yeah. made. This guy, uh, he he commissioned it from me, and mm -hmm. he said, "Hey, I, I want to know if you can make this." And I have no idea why he asked me to do that. Right. Because up until that point in time, the only thing I had in my portfolio was the portal gun. Okay. So he came and he's like, "I need this chrome helmet with a ton of lights," and I went, "Yeah, sure." And then a year and a half later, he actually got it. So it took me a little while to get yeah. it down. But um, this one, the the chrome one or the the Tomas helmet, only took me about four months so I am Only getting four months of time. I am getting right. faster with it all right and yeah. you walk around Atlanta wearing this I uh, yeah I've actually got a photo shoot scheduled coming up oh. with a friend of mine uh, right. this this fantastic photographer and uh, we have a friend of ours who's gonna be bringing a DeLorean to it so it's gonna be an epic shoot I can't wait for Mash that up Death Punk and DeLorean yeah uh, and so you, this is your full-time job. You make yep. these not only for companies, but for individuals. For individuals, yep. So if people want to get a commission, they can contact you yes. on your Facebook page or yep. from your contact. My, Facebook slash Volp and Props. Okay. And then my website is volpandprops.blogspot.com. <laughs> so you can have your own fancy chrome That's helmet. Amazing. Let's get now, another shot of the helmet. I will, I will say right now, I am booked about ooh, seven months in advance. And uh, I have some cool corporate things coming up. I yeah. also do the Child's Play charity, of uh, charity yes. auction every year. So that's so, where you had the, the portal gun. The portal gun was there, yeah. and I'll be doing that again this year.